Welcome to Historical. My name is David, and this week I'm joined by Baki and Sam. Hello. What's going on? <laughs> the energy is totally different this time. <laughs> Whoa. I am in control of the ship. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. So, this week our topic is uh, nothing. <laughs> We didn't pick anything before we started, so we just kind of ran right into it. Are you gonna go down with the ship? Let's uh, let's talk <laughs> you about go down with the ship. <laughs> if it goes down, oh yeah, no, I was, no, I was no, going down with the ship. Bro. Um, no, I was good. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I always go down with the ship, man. Oh, you know sure. what I mean? You gotta stick. You gotta stick with your uh, your bets. Yeah, fuck it. Yo, I wear. I sometimes wear a Redskins T-shirt. It's like one of those like vintage drones. And so like I have a lot of people like come up and tell me like oh what do you think about the commanders and it's just all like what the fuck man Uh, like nah dude what what, what about the rest the The commies yeah yeah Yeah. like the cowboys didn't get their fucking name changed like what the fuck that was like the hugest fucking like thing right there you know how fucked up that is redskins against cowboys (laughs) <laughs> and Dean against it like, was totally it, mind, it, like it, it, you know what I'm saying like well, that, that was the thing back then. Yeah, that, that was the shit though bro like yeah. Redskins and versus the Cowboys man that shit was what ultimate rivalry but no what yeah. I'm saying is like back in the day though that was a thing like you know with all the movies right that, yeah, that was man. such a the big thing like westerns like uh, yeah. Cowboys and Indians like shootouts you know hiding out behind the fucking saloon shoot yeah no nah, dude that was the shit yeah. they always had those fucking movies so it's like i think that's why that branding works so well for like that generation was because yeah. they grew up with that you know what i mean mm-hmm. that was they, and so that's just like in I their just mind think it's dope. It's like <laughs> yeah a but classic they, also didn't rivalry. Have, they didn't have to go with that name though too what redskins <laughs> Why? Redskins. Like they could have picked another thing. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what would you pick? What would you huh? pick? What would you go with? The natives, <laughs> <laughs> or the Indians, or something like the yeah. The Chiefs, the Chiefs, Chiefs is taken. Yeah, uh, see, Chiefs is taken. But like, you could say like the Chiefs is probably the most PC way to do it. Chiefs, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that is. Or like, it's tri- probably like, or just any know. tribe, any tribe, like you know. The Lakota <laughs> Chiefs. Yeah. Oh shit! I forgot this shit recline back. <laughs> yeah, it's a yeah. recliner. Oh, it's it's by definition, <laughs> it does what it does in the title. Yeah. Well, Cowboys yeah. were cool. Cowboys yeah, were cow- cool. They yeah. suck Cowboys ass this year. For real? No, I'm saying like the Cowboys back in the day were uh-huh. cool. <laughs> those those cowboys, not yeah, the not yeah. the football not team. The fo- I don't yeah. really keep up. I don't really keep up with uh, the sports. Not that man. You're like, the sports cast. Let's dude, talk like sports. I'll get drunk <laughs> as shit and like like go to World of Beer and like fucking watch like the new UFC fight. That that's that's about it. That and like you know YouTube. My YouTube is just filled with a bunch of like fucking like, like bare, bare fist knuckle shit. Yeah. Yeah. That oh, shit, shit is pretty bare crazy. Fist? He likes fights. Yeah. Damn. Fucking! Yeah, I really like, like fight. You follow Fight Hub on. <laughs> I follow on fight Instagram. Yeah. Nah, world man, star, like, <coughs> dude, those star. motherfuckers are serious, man. Like you get your fucking like, <laughs> that's oh, yeah. bare fist, like oh, a yeah. nigga in jeans, bro. Like yarn, <laughs> or, yarn yarns around you. <clears throat> yeah, there's been like going back, at it. There's been like backyard fights, like clubs around here. In Virginia, yeah. in Virginia, yeah, fight like clubs, fight clubs, pretty much like where they fight outside, <laughs> and then like two two guys just meet up and. Yeah, but it's like a whole it. club. It's a whole kind of like little YouTube company thing. Oh shit! Yeah, okay. It's a YouTube company thing. Like YouTube, the company is meeting up and having a fight club. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm saying it's a company. That it does, I mean, they put it on YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they distribute the fights of the club. Now they're yeah. breaking the first two rules of Fight Club by doing that. You know. <laughs> Yeah, can't be. But can't I'm be saying it's like pretty much anybody, anybody. Online. Like, yo, yo, dude, check this <laughs> shit out. What the yeah. hell? Like, come on, man. Anybody could sign up and shit. That's that's crazy. Do I got yeah. some? Do they have know. weight classes, or is it just like fucking? No, dude, yeah, two, two, you got okay. to, got it's to weight. have weight. Yeah, you gotta have weight I was classes. Say, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, somebody's yeah. gonna kill. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kill nah, dude, dude. What, dude? Like, this isn't some. Anyone can sign up. Bruce Lee movie. He's saying anyone can sign up. So I don't fucking know. I think it's called the uh, street beefs. Yeah, street beefs. <laughs> street beefs. It's yeah. like bum fights. You remember bum fights? Bum fights. 
Yeah, they would give these poor guys like a ham sandwich and be like, be a, or they'd have, give them be like, whoever wins gets like ham sandwich, <laughs> and these guys are like, that's gonna, fucked up. The, a ham sandwich, yeah, you know, maybe fifty bucks. You know, it was, I don't know. <laughs> it depends, but they would fight. Maybe sometimes they didn't even need. Who knows what else was involved? Like what other incentives? But like maybe they didn't even need the money incentive. You know what I mean? Like maybe they just had beef that they're like, "Hey, we let's we can fight and get paid for our beef." Yeah. yeah. Would you settle? Would you settle beef like that? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Don't touch the mic. <laughs> no, I was I was making sure I didn't yawn into it. Uh, what it was? What were you saying? Squashing the beef? Yeah. There's, yeah, you know, who doesn't squash their beef? If you're beefing that long for those for years, you know what I mean. You gotta, you got, you gotta figure your shit out, man. Like you gotta move on. Like you gotta upgrade your beefs. You know, you can't just be beefing with the same people forever. Yeah, no, nah, man. Like that's how you progress. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You know, you gotta go up the ladder. You, you, if you got, if you want to be the bigger beastman, you have to have different beefs. So you can't, you can't beef with like the guy making your burrito at Chipotle. You gotta beef with like the CEO of Chipotle Dude, online yeah, on Twitter. Man. You know, like that's and you've gotta have like the personal phone call yourself with such a huge complaint. It leads up to that kind of level. You know, you're just you're aggravated. You're annoyed, bro. You're oh, you're wanting to get that shit done. You no, know, like, I'm not gonna lie. I most of the time, real real retail workers are perfectly fine and i have no issues with them but it, there are a few times where i do encounter some where i'm just like you know what you deserve whatever karen you know is coming you know down the down the road because like i'm not one that's gonna like make a big deal about shit but like the way that they're acting i'm like this isn't gonna fly with everybody you know what i mean dude i have the worst customer service at the downtown cookout <laughs> that shit pissed can me you out turn your can over like this is a fucking trap house <laughs> 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 shit, <laughs> dude i got doritos barbecue sweet and tangy hey. just just putting yeah. that out there okay <laughs> God damn. that's what i'm saying <laughs> It tastes like, dude. I'm not gonna lie to you. It tastes like McDonald's barbecue sauce Ooh. on on the chip. Nice. <laughs> I'm not playing, dude. Like for real. <laughs> you want you want to test it? You want to see for yourself? You want to see for yourself? Do I? Are we doing a review on the fucking <laughs> Dorito? <laughs> Let's go ahead, boys. Nah, dude. For real. Hit that shit. Hit that hit, shit hit it for the one time. Wonderful, every mic. All right, be careful with this uh, chips and crunching. Yeah. <laughs> right into the microphone. Look at this. You hear all of the all of the sound. Bro, I'm a fuck up so bad. Yo, here. Sweet yeah. and tangy. That's what I'm saying, dude. It yeah. tastes like it is, tastes is like. He, is he is he telling the truth? He's telling the truth. <laughs> That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Truth there and only but the bad. truth. Bro, what? I mean, honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, it's like the McDonald's barbecue sauce is it's pretty generic. It's a bit more or less like the same. I wouldn't be able to differentiate that from any other barbecue sauce on a chip. Damn. Yeah? Damn. What is he it's trying to say? It's basically, it's just a barbecue saying, chip. She's saying, this ain't, this, ain't, <laughs> this ain't baby Ray's barbecue. Yeah. Dude, I this don't know, man. To me, Ray. it just this tastes like sweet McDonald's baby barbecue sauce. Yeah, you know what's funny is if Sweet Baby Ray, if you get the, the version that's like the sugar-free version, they just call it Ray's. Wow. Because it's not sweet. You get it? God, Regular guys, come Ray's. On. What the fuck are you guys talking about? That was a good one. I said if you get Sweet Baby Ray's. What the fuck is Sweet Baby Ray Ray's? Barbecue it's sauce. barbecue sauce. Oh. <laughs> get some culture over here, man. I'm sorry, dog. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Get some good barbecue sauce. In How your do you life? not know barbecue sauces? I just get you know, barbecue chips, but not sauce. Are you not Dude, a I just get guy? random ass sauces, man. Like I just like you know, di you just be different with your barbecue sauce. Me, I'm a man that like likes to just pick random ass barbecue sauces that just look cool to me. I'm like, oh shit, okay, let me grab that. That's that's no way to do. I look I, at I look at the fucking ingredients. Man's gotta like, have okay, a coat. Yeah, no, like there was this one like. Bourbon, like breathe it. You're right? Yeah, like, like I, I've <laughs> done I've done like a lot of bourbon, like sweet. 
Oh, fuck. Scratching Damn. into the microphone. Whoa. <laughs> What's <laughs> going on right now? <laughs> fucking. Get your um, shit together. No, nah, man. Like, I've tried, like, multiple, like, salsas, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking that tastes like goddamn yep. McDonald's barbecue sauce, man. Another level. I don't, don't know, know about all that. Yeah, I think I, he's hi- I think this is hype. <laughs> this is all hype. Regular, regular barbecue. It's mid. Doritos mid. Mid Doritos. God damn. <laughs> God <laughs> yeah, damn. Yeah. Mickey <laughs> D's though. Mickey D's though. Trump was in Mickey D's. You saw him? You see a Trump? He was? Movie. Yeah. Dude, have you seen like the old like attire that they used to have for uh uh McDonald's like workers back in like the nineties and eighties and shit? Oh no. So fucking fire, dude! Really? I saw like, dude. There's like a few fucking photos, bro. You should, you should like put, bro, dude. Like they had like <laughs> oh, the crazy ass looking McDonald's. Yeah, hats. Put it on oh, the didn't screen. they have those little hats? t-shirts and those fucking little, like sweaters and shit? Those little bro. hats like, that look like boats. They weren't playing around, dog. The paper hats, you mean? Yeah. No, not the paper hats. They had like dad hats and shit, bro. But like oh, yeah? it was like customized to like. A, really? It was nice, bro. Like you guys search it up, search it up, what? search it up. Nineties. Mc- wait, can can we? Yeah, I can, I have the capability. That I what a know time what to be alive! Like. I was I was lived it. <laughs> we lived it, dude. We're millennials, bro. I was there in oh, the nineties. Ser- yeah, yeah, I forget. My fault. Yeah, I was there in the first. At first movie, like, you, you first the Harry 90s, Potter. You remember that? Like, <laughs> like, yeah. I watched Harry Potter in theaters. Dude, I will tell you though. Like, do you did the play place? Did you all get to experience the play place? Because oh, I remember, yeah, yeah, what? Oh yeah, the, they, and they still have them at some of them. Oh, I know yeah. I've seen Hell them yeah, around. Nice. Yeah. No, I don't know. Nice. Okay, that's, that's maybe a stretch. <laughs> those are nice. What do you mean the playground? <laughs> <laughs> You're talking the about McPlay- the, play- <laughs> the McPlayground, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, when you're a kid, it's fucking cool. Oh, yeah. I was, did the Burger King I'm not talking about right too. now, but I'm saying... Burger King had a playground, dude. That shit was yeah. fire. Yeah. When you were a kid, yeah, and that's what I'm talking about, man. Like, you would eat, and then you'd go fucking run around the goddamn Hell yeah. ball pit, and like, God, who knows how many germs were fucking spread around that thing. Like, dude, we were living, dude. You didn't give a fuck, dude. No, you didn't. We, yeah, were, didn't we, we were more that's immune. Just, dude, that's, we were more immune because we were around germs. We became uh, yeah, more immune. You're, you're tr- we became true. more immune to shit. Yeah, We're, I was waiting on somebody to, to say it. You know, so like you know the cookies. Uh, you back in the day, they used to come. They just had a bag, and they were like these little tiny cookies. They were like mini miniature cookies that came in a bag, and like a. You remember what I'm talking about? Or no. they have those? Those were gone before I your time. So. I, I think so. I think so. I think you're talking about they because they, they had them for a while, but then they started doing like the nice like baked cookies yeah. after a certain point, mm-hmm. and they switched over and they got rid of those. But I remember eating the, getting those back in uh, back in the day. Mm. They're like these tiny. They would come in a bag. Like mm. they were they weren't that great. They weren't like the cookies they make now are far superior. <laughs> Dude, I will say, yeah, the McDonald's man has a stranglehold on my fucking uh, diet. Really? Like I just can't get rid of it. You really? know what I mean? I will kick all the other things out of it. I'll kick out Taco Bell. I'll kick out Burger King. What? I'll kick out. No, Hardee's. no, no. Why would you t- kick out Taco Bell, bro? What the fuck? Be- I mean, it's the last to go before McDonald's. But McDonald's is just, you know what I mean? It's like you grow. I grew up eating. You know, what I mean? you just grow up eating as something nah, dude, so I would familiar much with rather. it. The chemicals have infiltrated my brain and rewired well, my then you brain. Damn, bro. You got a yeah, problem I, now, dude? You need to. Nah, dude. I'm, I'm like a Taco Bell agent for over McDonald's. All that shit. They're gonna fuck like. It. They're gonna, Shit. They're Taco gonna, Bell? Or I need to take a step back. Hey, whatever happened to that one dude that was like purple or something? Like Grouch or Grimace? Grimace. Grimace. <laughs> Grimace. Yeah, didn't he like disappear after a while? Oh, dude, that shit was bro. And the Hamburglar. The Hamburglar Grouch. too. Yeah, Grouch what happened to the Hamburglar and Grimace? Oh, I fuck with the Hamburglar. Ronald McDonald and friends. Yeah, yeah. All the cast of characters that shady. they had, some shady, and shit then they on. tried to compete. Some, sh- <laughs> some shady shit going on in in between the Mc, Mc, McDonald's industry of of cameos of yeah. of characters. It's crazy. Damn, well, see, they had the camp. They had all those fucking characters at McDonald's, but then the Burger King. Do you remember what Burger King had? The Burger King Kids Club. Uh, I, was I don't remember yeah, that. I, remember I don't that. remember that. Yeah, I remember it was that. probably before. No. They probably got rid of that. But, I but that. like, I, I like, I was, I was, I was like, I remember Burger King when they had like the easy cheesy fucking like advertisements and shit okay. with the fucking Burger King guy, and he's like wearing the, he's doing this shit, and no, mm, no, dude. no, not ringing a bell. Um, you guys sure? are fucking, oh, <laughs> nigga, hold on. 
No, you don't need to look it up. It's okay. Are you <laughs> fucking kidding me? We'll look, we'll look it up. Y'all don't remember. It's, look, here, it's, it's, let me not, get this out wait, no, like, it's just, not easy I'm being cheesy and like it's a cheeseburger that he's sponsoring. And then like they also did that like breakfast and familiar, But like, listen to this though. Like, this is what I was getting at. I was building you a point with this Burger King kicks up bullshit. So they had a, so they invented a cast of characters. Right, Burger King did. And this wasn't like McDonald's where it was like a clown and like a fucking weird purple guy. It was like these were actual kids. So like it was like a cast of kids. Mm -hmm. And one of them was like in a fuck. And they were all like futuristic. Like the main one like had like a fucking visor. And he looked like he was like from the future or some shit. He had like like spiky hair. Yeah, like X-Men. They were kind of like ripping off like a lot of just like 90s fucking things and one of the kids was in a wheelchair what the fuck do you remember that uh, yeah yeah it was it was like the kid with the red hair it was like what's going on here it was like professor x <laughs> oh what the heck really <laughs> it's like that's what it, maybe that's what they were ripping off like wow. they were like ripping off like, somebody the, was obsessed blatantly with ripping shit. off the x-men i don't know yeah they were but obsessed I need, I need to get the bottom of this burger king kids club bullshit i need to look this up no, but what I, about it I don't know, man. Like, oh, like where did it come from? Or yeah, like that. Because like, now that we're talking about it, this is the first time I'm fucking realizing that this was pro- this was se- <sighs> seemingly a blatant ripoff of X Men. Yeah, that Burger King was, was just, using in their branding for towards. Well, children. maybe it was just popular around the time when the movies were coming out. You know. Yeah, and the X Men '97 show. Yeah, you know? maybe it was just well, that's that's an actual show now. But X Men <sighs> during that during the '90s, yeah. This yeah, X-Men I guess show. it was just a thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to. We'll look. We'll investigate <laughs> historical investigations. Mm. <laughs> Brady. Yeah. <laughs> what is Dude, wrong? Let's talk about. Since we're talking about like fucking Burger King, let's talk about fast food. Let's let's the history of what fast you, food. What do you what are you ranking? Okay, like from like. Uh, I'll give us like Mickey ten. Mickey and Taco Bell are just at the top. That's what I'm saying. Okay, okay. No, no, no. no wait, hold national, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If we're on, talking no, 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 no. national chains, that's what I'm doing. No, I'm talking now, about Virginia regional chains. I would say Culver's is probably one of the most superior fast food burgers I've ever eaten in my life. Culver's. Right? Culver's. They don't have them around here. Fuck. But there's one I think in North Carolina, and then they I had it out in Colorado, Colorado, and then I think I also had it out in maybe Kansas. Um, but there's also, I also oh. there's a Freddy's Steak Burger, Freddy's Steak Burgers, Custard and Steak oh. Burgers, I think is what it's called. That's pretty good. It was a little greasy. Culver's is better. But those, that's also like those are regional things. You know what I mean? They don't have them everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, what a burger, the Texas thing. The Texans are gonna fucking hate this, but that's pretty overrated. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's good. But it's like they act like this is like the most amazing. Burger. What about it's like, it's In-N-Out? Like fucking fast food burger, honestly. And then people hate me for this because I'm like, I really enjoyed In and Out. Like my experience, people are yeah. like In and Out's overrated. I'm like, I mean, it does what it does. Like I don't know. I maybe I had a good experience with it. I don't know. Yeah. But everyone's just like that's so overrated. I'm like, it's burgers nah, and dude, fries, bro. Like no, like I think <laughs> I think the true like ultimate experience of going to fast food is just being like completely plastered and like you know what I'm saying, just like buying like a fuck ton of food like you're famished and like you know what I'm saying trying everything so, fuck yeah like Here's White like, Castle bro like, we should do a review like that <laughs> I just fucked up at like a fast food well I've always had that shit. idea of like doing like yeah driving like podcasts you know what I mean like there's a way to do it but like uh, driving like, podcast yeah you just fuck, record man. you know your conversation in a car okay and yeah but like there's so much car noise and shit like it can be really annoying to fucking like edit that so you have to get the right equipment and so there's a lot involved in so that's why i haven't done that but you now what you're saying though it's like what jason and i have done we used to we would road trip we r- road tripped out to vegas and we i recorded i think i might have posted them maybe i i might have privated them i don't know or like you know took them took them down off youtube but like of like basically reviews food reviews um from our trip so like yeah we would go through the drive through of fucking wherever the we were at you know and then eat the shit and then review it dude do you guys remember fucking friendlies friendly <laughs> yes bro <laughs> oh my god dude i remember getting their fucking sundays and like i'd always get re- dude, you the, could customize you, your sundays the ice cream menu through was the pictures insane. yeah yeah the pictures were made it look like the most insane thing ever yeah, just like, what? <laughs> bro it was so I don't remember do you that. remember friendlies i kind of do i kind of do Bro, it's they used to, it's like, like... It's obscure. <laughs> it's really you obscure. You know where right that, uh... Oh, fuck, dude. My fucking legs, man. I gotta crack these fucking knees and uh, shit. My legs. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> Stay on topic, man. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Fucking, you know, um, what are your there was a friendlies. Rankings? There was a friendlies near. You know, where like the food line and like McDonald's, Taco Bell, and like it's um. Oh, fuck, man. Fuck me. It's near like the fucking like when you're okay. So you keep fuck. Okay. All right. I've Where is this of, going? I've heard of it. So <laughs> no, I'm talking about there used to be a friendlies where okay, like now it's like a fucking Sunday <laughs> All right, thank you. God damn. But like, bro, dude, bro. Oh my god, dude. I used to go to that friendlies. Fucking amazing, man. I miss friendlies, bro. That's there's the point only like of two. This. There's <laughs> only like there's only like two. You like barbecue, right? Hell there's yeah. A, there's a place, a barbecue place right near there, bro. Right near the Arby's. Like, good as fuck. No way. Good as fuck, dude. Good as barbecue. Check it no out. Way. Check it out. Okay. Yeah. Facts. Like it. No yeah. way. <laughs> All, right. All right. Where are your fast food rankings? Me? Yeah. Fucking straight up, dog. Straight uh, up. <laughs> uh, cookout. Because I've had some pretty gnarly burgers there. Cookout, really? Like, what? That's your S tier is cookout? Uh, no, I'd say like Taco Bell if if anything. Yeah, we're but talking like, like go with the tiers down. You know what I mean? Like start at the top. Fuck, man, that's a lot, dude. Fuck. <laughs> so, what's, what's your fucking what, what's considered <laughs> what's considered a, dr- well, a he's fast over food? Over here pondering. What do what's you What's considered ponder. fast I'm food? Ponder. <laughs> what? What's considered fast food? Oh God! <laughs> He's getting th- philosophical. <laughs> <laughs> nah, what is thing. fast food? Like, dude, like, like, <laughs> like what? what all right, remember, just like, what? just like, think about like all the fast foods that you've had that like, you've had to like walk in and out of, you know, or like driving, yeah, you know, like drive through, smashing. So, yeah. So if it has a drive through, yeah. Because I mean, Panda has a drive through. <sighs> Oh fuck! Is that considered dude. fast food? Damn! The pharmacy has a drive-through. <laughs> is, is that it considered oh boy, oh, is <laughs> fucking fast food? Because like, because like Chipotle and all that—that's not fast food, or is it? Would you consider Chipotle fast food? No, no, that's a little bit more. That's a bit more like you know, like restaurant. Come on, restaurant. That's like, not a restaurant. I wouldn't say restaurant, but I'm like it's it's in a. It's, I consider it that exists fast food. in a in a realm above what I would consider fast food, like. I mean, it's pretty fast. It is fast. It is quick. It's Fucking, quick fast. Uh, it's already, like it's already there. Like, but so is Five Guys fast food as well? Yeah. Would that be considered fast food? Five that's guys. what I'm saying. Like if we get down, like yeah. I feel yeah. like if I'm yeah. spending Five like guys? twenty dollars on a burger, Fuck, that is, dude, is not yeah. fast See, food. This is the shit that I'm not <laughs> thinking I'm saying, about. Like, bro. What's considered fast food? That's what I, I mean. I think it has to be like, like they offer. It has to offer a value menu. How about that? Value menu. Yeah, like a dollar menu. What? Taco Why? Bell has. Because that defines the purpose of fast food. I got it. Cheap, I got convenient. it. I got it. Has to have a drive through. Has to have a value menu. So fast food has to be cheap. I got it. I got it. Doesn't it doesn't have to be cheap, but it has to be, it has to offer options that are. Mm. Because Taco Bell isn't cheap, but they do offer like a ton of fucking cheap options. Mm-hmm. They do, bro. Like you could spend like $23, <laughs> dude. Facts. Like, or like you could spend like, I think, I think lowest is like, 18 or like $15 for like a pack of like a fuck ton of shit whether like if you're at the <laughs> yeah. tablet you can fucking customize what you want or just fucking like just buy the shit and like just customize the ingredients <laughs> as you like Where? are copping it at Taco Bell dude like oh, Taco Bell is like like I've done all types of like crazy shit just to like make that shit weird for Damn. me dude the mild sauce I fucking love it man like oh, that mild, shit's fucking yeah, amazing bro yeah, dude I get what mild. really Hot. Actually, no, I get hot. I get fire. Oh, wait. Yeah. Damn, fire dude, you're an asshole, it's actually motherfucker. Not, it's not that spicy, bro. It's not that spicy. Yeah, what is this? Like, Yeah. Taco Bell's hot sauce. I like mild, dude. Watch mild the is... chip bag, man. Like, it, it sounds. Oh, like okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Dude, I like, I like the, dude, the mild is just perfect. Mild is perfect. Yeah. There's like some shit called El Diablo and it's in a black Ooh, pack. I don't nah, trust I've that. I've tried bro. that one. I've tried that. Orange it's, seems tried pretty it, neutral to like, me. I'm going to trust that, bro. I'm Diablo's not even that bad. No, no, Diablo's not bad. I just don't really like the taste of that one. I like the fire like actually tastes good. Yeah. You know what, I mean? what do you I like, mean? Yeah, like, yeah, what, yeah. like what type of flavoring are we talking about right now? See, even the hot. Like, like I can tangy. tell the difference like the, between the hot and the fire. It's like the hot, yeah. it's like... Even too, like I don't even know that the hot and the fire are like that much different in terms of intensity, like Scoville intensity or whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? But like, there's a there is definitely a difference in taste. Like the mild, I think you're, I think you have a valid point. Like 
Mild has more of a taco sauce flavor to it. You know That's what, what I mean? I'm saying, dude. It's fucking nice. And it's so there, bro. The pot has more of the taco sauce flavor, but it's a little bit of kick. Now the fire, it seems like that's diverged from the taco sauce flavor, and now it's become something new. <laughs> and to me, that's what I like. It's like it's not, and not that I don't like the taco sauce flavor, but like to me, the fire just sets it off. I just douse all my Taco Bell shit in that. What are Damn. you doing? What is wrong with you? Jeez. Dude, did I really just drink all this fucking beer? What? Probably. Did you? Dude, there's no way. There's no. Oh, dude, dude, that's fucked up. That's oh. fucked up. That's fucked up. I drank all that beer. That's How many up. beers? <laughs> How many beers? Easy, Tiger. Oh, just two. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's only been two. <laughs> Dos Equis. I'm also, like, really high. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just... He's, I'm just there. He's livid. I'm just Dude, what's flying, the hottest bro. hot sauce that you've got? Dude, wait. What, like, what, what, what are some of y'all's, like, favorite hot sauce? Oh, Favorite? I don't. I don't really have a favorite Tabasco hot sauce. jalapeno. But I, my favorite barbecue sauce is Sweet Baby Ray's. <laughs> Sweet Baby Ray's. Okay, so you're telling me to like go to the store and get that? No. So what I was saying yeah. was like, yeah, yeah. I mean, Sweet Baby Ray's is fine. But um, I love how he's like doing it like now to like annoy me because <laughs> he's like going. No, I'm just. He's like getting really like really pronounced. Like, all right. I don't want to. So, I don't want to get it. Get some Ray's. Because it's the sugar-free version. Okay. Because you don't want all the sugar, right? Oh, yeah. Because we're, 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 we're health-conscious yeah, podcast. Yeah. We watch our health. You got to watch drink, those chemicals. We drink two beers those in, chemicals. like, 20 minutes. It's, like, really good. Yeah, dude. Like, Sweet Baby Ray is Sweet shit, Baby Ray, man. man. Like, that's... I've, Bussin'. What? I can't Bussin'. think of a pot. You had it. I've had it. I have it have in my fridge. Have you seen the video of... I have it in my fridge right now. Have you seen the video oh, of Zuckerberg? Just waiting for me. Just waiting for that sweet baby. Wait, sorry, it's what? late at night. I take it out. And I lube myself up. Whoa. With it. <laughs> All right. Take it a um, it's that good? It's that good. Barbecue uh, Diddy. That's the real purpose. Um, okay. All right. No, have you seen the uh, the video of Zuckerberg? Because like Mark Zuckerberg apparently got obsessed with fucking smoking meats and, mm. and shit. So like he just... But there's no a video. way. There's a video of him like live streaming him doing it like with his friends or whatever, and and throughout somebody cut it, so like it just only the times where he says "Sweet Baby Ray's," because he he keeps talking about Sweet Baby Ray's the whole thing, and he just I guess he just loves saying Sweet Baby Ray's over and over again. So he's just like <laughs> Sweet Baby Ray's, so the Sweet Baby Ray's. We are ready to apply the Sweet Baby Ray's. <laughs> There's keeps, no way he and, said we are ready to apply the Sweet yeah, Baby Ray's. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way. He's just through the whole fucking video. He's just that's nerding insane, out over sweet. Bro. And he's the, that's saying, like a true level of autism right no, there. No, dog. dude. He's really like he's smoking. <laughs> we are ready to apply the sweet baby rays. <laughs> it's like I was like, all right. That's a fucking lizard for sure, bro. What yeah, the yeah. Fuck? He's, he's wearing a skin suit. <laughs> that's, a, that's a skin suit. The reptilian. <laughs> yeah, reptilian right there. <laughs> and now he's dressing like a fucking like bro. Like, have you seen him? He's dressing like like a hip hop bro. He's like, chain, yeah. he's wearing a chain, and like oh, yeah? his hair is like all curly. I am cool now. He's like, oh, he's yeah. like, he's like <laughs> no, he, that's fucked up. Nah. Nerd. Have you seen him though? You guys have, you know, what I'm talking about. Yeah, Mark Zuckerberg. I've seen yeah. like a few like recent videos yeah. or just like other shit. The but. social network. <laughs> he, he was gonna wrestle Elon too. <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> it's not happening though. Well, I, I saw that he got a tap it like fitter. It's a bit of a weight discrepancy there. I think Elon's like what, like six four, like two two forty, like he's fat as shit. <laughs> like, yeah, but it would have been cool. He would just like <laughs> sit on Zuckerberg, you know. Cool <laughs> Wait, to see. he's six four. I'm pretty sure it's something ridiculous like that. And Mark Zuckerberg, dude, is like not, five, he looks nine fucking huge though, bro. Really. That wouldn't be a fair fight. That be I don't know. I fight. could be lying. Zuckerberg, I think it's like 5'10", maybe 5'11". Hmm. You don't think so? Is he taller? Zuckerberg's is he six? a big boy, right? He's got to be like... He's a big boy? Yeah, like I'd say like 5'11", 6'4". Oh, yeah. If not, like maybe like maybe I'm fucking up and he's like 5'8", 5'9". Five five How tall are you? I'm 6'3". 6'3". 6'2". My doctor told me I was gonna be seven foot when I was a kid. <laughs> That's fucked up. I was like, I was so happy. I was like, I'm high. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm gonna be seven feet. <laughs> I'm gonna dunk. I just see him just like praying to God, like thank you, Lord, thank you, like on the on the table thank where you, like senor. the doctor told him that he was gonna be seven feet. <laughs> yeah, he lied. <laughs> he lied to me, mom. Yeah, <laughs> six two and then stopped. Six two. Dude, these are so fucking good. I'm sorry. Dude. You're they picking look- out over there. All right, so top fast food, S tier fast food. What is it? Is it Taco Bell? Like, and two, the value menu. Give me some options. I mean, dude, it's basically all <laughs> McDonald's, Taco Bell, Burger King, Sonic, probably Zaxby's, uh, uh, Hardee's, Bojangles, uh, Popeyes, Popeyes, KFC. Fucking, um, uh, I, is there a Jack in the Box still or no? Yeah, I don't even think around yeah. here. Not around here though. I don't know, man. Like five, five here. guys. Five guys is fucking amazing. Five guys, yeah. Top three, five. But guys. That, I, I don't count five that. Guys. Five I guys. I don't count those fast food. Oh, you don't count it. Okay. You're fucked up. Why? You That's like, Chick- bro. You, you go downtown, bro. Is five Chick-fil-A guys is right fast there. Food? Yeah. Chick Fil A. Yeah, they got a drive through. Yeah. Yeah. But they don't got a value menu, do they? They probably got cheap items. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely got some fucking cheap items there. Yeah, out there, yeah, Chick Fil A, Arby's, and Subway. Subway, cool. Subway fast food. Mm. They don't really have a drive-through, do they? Damn, so this has to have a drive-through. But they got that five-dollar foot-long it's bullshit. Gotta have though. a drive-through. I don't know, man. Subway would qualify for fast food. It's just more of a healthier option, bro. Just because of. Like- I don't know. It's the pedophile's option, apparently. Whoa, Whoa. <laughs> what? You didn't you the foot long? Foot long. No, the guy that was like Jared. You, know, you remember yeah. Jared Fogel? Remember Jared? Oh, he, the fucking oh, he had yeah. like pictures of like little kids and shit too. Wait, really? Yeah, dude. he was awful, man. Oh shit, he yeah. was a uh, owner or is he owner or what? No, he was just some random guy that lost a bunch of weight that he claimed by eating Subway subs, which apparently wasn't even true. <laughs> so he was just like a commercial guy. He was in the commercials, yeah, oh. being like, "I lost a bunch of weight eating Subway." And so uh-huh. they they found out he was a he was a pedo or something. Children. Really? They found out he how he was a pedo or something. Oh yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, I think he he had victims, and then also what Braden said, like there was a uh, there he had photos too. Of, oh shit! Damn. And uh, illicit material on his on his hard drive. Wow. I didn't know that. You didn't know that? I didn't know. Well, what? I heard, heard something before, but I forgot that he was part of Subway. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. There it is. He's done. It's done. <laughs> Just put it away. He got it. <laughs> got the last like crumb. Folded up innately. Yeah. <laughs> Dog, that was like gas. Yeah, you had those. You munchy, you munchy hard. It's called the Munch, Munchy Monster over here. Braden's uh, snack <laughs> <laughs> episode title. Braden's um, snack break. <laughs> yeah. So, wait, wait, where would you put at the top? Do we decide? Those top three, yeah. Arby's. Arby's. Um, what else did I say? Chick Fil A. Arby's, Chick Fil A, and Ta- Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Mm-hmm. Do you remember the Taco Bell dog? The, oh yeah, the Yo Chihuahua quiero, Taco Bear. Chihuahua, <laughs> yeah. The Chihuahua quiero. El Chihuahua. <laughs> the, I was there when they when they created the Crunch Hat Supreme. You were there. <laughs> I was there. I was I there was, when I was a, one of the first to try it. That's how you know you're a millennial. The Crunch Hat Supreme. <laughs> oh my god, dude, or no, that's like my it? favorite. That and like the three locos, darkos, tocos, tacos, or some shit. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Oh yeah, didn't he? Use, oh no, the, no, yeah. Because Arby's used to be a different color, right? It used to be yellow. You remember when Arby's was yellow? Arby's was yellow. Was it yellow? Yeah, right. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you I remember? Think you're right. There was because I used to go there and or I went there one time like when I was like really young. Yeah. And like I got fucking sick. As oh, fuck. Yeah? yeah, it wasn't good. Yeah. Um So like I didn't go back for like the longest time. You know what I mean? Mm. Just because it was just like. Oh well, like that place made me fucking sick. You know mm, what I mean. But then yeah. eventually I started eating it again, and it's it's good. Like it's definitely, I think it 
there was a certain point where they like made a choice to be like, all right, we're we're gonna try and do like a bit more like higher quality stuff, you know what I mean? Versus like, mm, okay, I think they were just doing kind of more just generic bullshit before. I don't know. I could be mistaken, but yeah, I think that might be having to do with the branding change because then they became about the whole like we're doing like fresh deli meats and mm-hmm. all that shit. You know? Yeah, get a sandwich. We'll make you a Reuben. <laughs> nah, dude. Um, are you done? What? With your list? <laughs> yeah. Are you done? Yeah. Are you finished? <laughs> That's my top Can't three. Can I talk now? That's my top three. That's your I'm top three? I'm not listening at all. Like, just, like, the next t- bro, fucking, okay. So, like, okay. I'm going I'm to I'm reconsider five guys just because I've been around that a lot. Okay. <laughs> uh, Raising Canes. Hmm. Raising Canes. Okay. Fuck off, okay? That shit Canes. is fire. That shit's not bad. No, that shit's fire, Yeah, that shit's good. Fucking Taco Raising Bell. The ch- Taco Bell? Uh, McDonald's. Okay. Okay. McDonald's. <laughs> Burger King being the fifth. Okay. Really? Yeah, no. Burger King, really? And like Chipotle being six. What? Burger King's just like trashy McDonald's. Bro, if I get at Chipotle, I'm at Chipotle. You put Chipotle behind Burger King. <laughs> Chipotle's my there's first. Some, no, if I can add Chipotle, with Chipotle? Like, no, they found like some fucked up shit, in, like the Chipotle rice or whatever. So you think? Gonna, hey, Chipotle, don't talk about them. What about like Chipotle? Talk about my people like that. <laughs> <laughs> what about the? Okay, so what do? You, what is your opinions in the burrito wars? Like, so Ch- Chipotle, Cadova, Moe's. What is, Ooh, bro, like, oh, bro! I grew Mose. up on Moe's. Welcome, Moe's. I grew up on that shit, bro. I, it's gotta be Moe's. Yeah, Moe's is okay. Good. And then, um, and then Chipotle. Before the shit that oh, I God. heard, that just hasn't had oh, me going to Chipotle in like yeah. a Chipotle. few months now. And then fucking uh, Qdoba. Qdoba. Yeah. I haven't had Qdoba in forever. I fuck with Qdoba though, bro. Like, you fuck they with got it? some good. Yeah, no, they got some. I, good, I haven't like, had it in a while. Forever. Their queso is pretty. Last pretty time they I got what? some good bowls too. Really? Yeah, no, no, no. You can customize and shit. <laughs> you like bowls? You like bowls? Actually, wait, no. Hold on. I fucked up. I fucked up. I oh, fucked you up. You like bowls? Four McDonald's. So it was. It was five guys, raising canes, um. Uh, Panda Express and then Taco Bell. Oh, okay? Panda, yeah. Yeah, That'd be Panda my top Express two. Express and then Taco Bell, okay? Yes. Panda Express is fire, okay? Panda. Chicken, the orange... Ch- Dude, they get this new bourbon chicken, bro. I yeah. get the... Fu- hold on. I get the orange <laughs> chicken, and I get the fucking shrimp walnut drop. Oh, the honey and shrimp then, walnut. Yeah, yeah, honey shrimp walnut, and then I get, like, fried rice and fucking, uh, uh, like, a fuck ton of vegetables. Chow mein. No chow mein? No, no chow mein. No chow mein? Egg roll? No egg roll? Yeah, I get I get spring rolls. A spring roll? Well, uh, anything duck else? Duck sauce. I'm a huge duck sauce. Is that all you guy. think? Is that all you want? 1546. 15. <laughs> <laughs> you want any sauce? You want any sauce? That was good. You get any sauce? Yes. Dude, <laughs> you get any sauce? You get the teriyaki, <laughs> dude. Teriyaki sauce. You gotta get that teriyaki, teriyaki sauce. sauce? Yeah. Nah, dude. I'm more of a duck sauce kind of guy. I don't oh, know why. Duck sauce I just really love duck sauce. I don't fuck with soy sauce. Sometimes I fuck with like the less sodium soy sauce. Dude. You're not a soy boy. Hey. Yeah. No, like, I, you know, I don't I don't really fuck with like a lot of soy products. I don't like soy. soy. My estrogen gets too high. <laughs> no, I have very high testosterone. I don't really need to worry about that. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I'm not. I'm joking. <laughs> I don't know your Dude, you know levels. cigarettes help with testosterone levels too. They say yeah, all sorts of things. To an extent, yeah. <laughs> There's probably yeah. other factors involved. No, but like, it usually helps older people, older dudes. Dude, sometimes Coffee. I fucking like I've, that, that lack ran, tes- that lack I've testosterone. Ran smoking a cig, and I've walked smoking a cig to the gym. Yeah, but, but I'm saying yeah, yeah. And I f- I have an amazing workout right after. I mean, yeah, I like right now that, you're that, young and it'll be fine. Right. <laughs> I'm really getting one of those dogs. Yeah, I'm 23, <laughs> bro. How old are you again? Well, like, you're invisible right now. For real? <laughs> I'm still Wolverine. Yeah. Fuck, dude. I still yeah. got the body of a Logan. Adamantium. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, that shit fades away. Like what? When you're like 26, 28. Yeah, I'm 30 and I can't sneeze because. <laughs> I'll break my back. <laughs> Damn, killed him on that one. <laughs> oh, fuck, bro. What the fuck? Back is broke. <laughs> I can't sneeze. <laughs> I hurt my back, dude. I'll hurt my back. Dude, no, I already fucked up my lower back. That shit sucks. Yeah. 
Yeah, man. Er, it's, nice. it's what happens. Hey, everybody. Everybody. Goes through that. Yeah. Everybody's lower back's fucked Big up. Big back. And even if you, <laughs> even if you think lower your lower back's not fucked up, up you're wrong. You, because you, it means that your posture's off. <laughs> And you'll find out posture, eventually. But if you correct your posture, then you'll realize your back's fucked up. <laughs> and you're like, oh, fuck. All right. My back's fucked up. Don't worry. Yeah. You'll find out one day. It'll get better. Yeah, no. I mean, you know, that's why you take care of yourself. You just got to use your knees. Yeah, that's why I eat, like, four, four like, house bowls of salad a week, bro. You got to have them, them salads in you. Oh, them salads. I wonder he's... What kind of salad <laughs> you like? I like salad? so I make I get like hearts romaine and like fucking like tomatoes and uh, cucumbers. What dressing? And I just I put um ranch. I like ranch. You're fucking that insane, was an dude. island. No, 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 no. fuck. I'm, I'm a ranger, Ew, dude. That's fucking disgusting, Ew. bro. Ew, balsamic. Ew. Where the he's fuck fucking, is my phone? He's a fucking like a uh, dressing Thousand dressing island? snob over here. Like, Thousand <laughs> Island. Ew. Thousand Island is disgusting. No, it's is that, that white dude. Know, dude. Uh, it's like eat. it's like Caesar. It's Caesar salad. Oh, Caesar! Dressing. You like? Caesar. But it's like that clear shit. It's got like the oil and vinaigrette and shit, Balsamic. bro. Like, oh. You know what I'm saying? It kind of, it's really good. It's it's fucking. It's it's like I, a balsamic vinaigrette. Yeah, I, I still like, <laughs> dude. Like I do that. I put a uh, cayenne pepper. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then I get black pepper. Oh my god. And then it, and then and then I get uh, Italian seasoning, and then uh, any cheese, kosher, kosher, or pink Himalayan salt, and that's it. Mm. And then and then that's when I drizzle everything. Mm. I just that that, that sounds like sounds that like good salad. Eating air, dude, bro. <laughs> like I had that before here, man. I I feel <laughs> fucking healthy, dude. Hell yeah, you gotta eat your greens. You get the got greens to, in. bro. You got to, bro. That I eat okra too, bro. Okra. okra? Yeah, dude. Wait, dude what just is drink that coffee and take Adderall like an adult. Whoa, <laughs> whoa! Don't listen, dude. I, I drink black coffee in the mornings. So like when I wake up in the morning. Oh my god, god damn, dude. Whoa, he's got. He's like a dog. <laughs> hey, what the, the fuck? Head? What do you mean? What the fuck? I got? It's just fucking. It's hair against my ear. So over time, it gets fucking itchy. Fuck you guys, dude. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh fuck, dude! What the fuck? I got a gun. About? Oh whoa! The, uh, yeah. Oh wait, can you can you try that? No, I'm not sure. Why? Right now. Oh, because it's nighttime. Yeah, it is. It's, it is. It is the, the witching hour, dude. Where's my? F- it, it is the witching hour. The Witcher. Where the fuck is my phone, dude? Dude, how, you are you've been stationary for forty fucking minutes, and this motherfucker is losing his phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. He's breaking his phone. <laughs> it's right here. Dude, you know what a good prank would be? Sign up one of your buddies for the fucking Trump uh, campaign text. <laughs> because, uh, yeah. like, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do that to one of my old friends I don't talk to that much. <laughs> it's like 20 texts a day. I'm not even lying. Like, from different numbers. Like, in case you block... <laughs> What really? Yeah, dude, my inbox is in like I I didn't even sign up for it. Mm. Somebody's somebody got my ass. I'm gonna do that to a liberal friend. Yep, my liberal friends. Yeah, I gotta gotta. <laughs> it's a great prank to play on somebody. You know, they have that mail thing too that you put in people's mailbox, <laughs> and that says like, oh yeah, you donated money to the. See, what's funny is like one of them was like. Donate fifteen dollars, and the next one was like, "I do not want you to donate." I'm like, "I, I don't know what you want me to do." <laughs> Trump, Trump you're, speak, you're mixed signals, everybody. <laughs> yeah, clarity is what we need right now. Are you Are you gonna vote? Am I gonna vote? Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe we'll see. You can you vote? Are you registered or no? No, I I can I can vote. I just don't really want to. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, no. I, just, I didn't like, know what. <laughs> dude, wake up! Only, <laughs> like I don't I don't I don't really give a fuck. My vote doesn't matter. <laughs> nah, dude. Like, do you guys not, bro? This shit's you pretty much like WWE script, bro. Politics yeah. is pretty much I'm WWE. In, yeah, I'm in script. between. I'm like, this shit is so fucking insane, I'm, I'm, dude. I'm, like, part, I just, yeah, one part. I I'm just, like, my vote matters. It's hard to give a like, fuck after a while, dude. Like, you just hear, like, nigga, we legit had like the most humiliating president 
in like the whole wide world this shit that he was saying and like as a country that was our guy you know what i'm saying like that's fucked up bro like after after seeing that shit bro which like, one <laughs> what are you talking about yeah. multiple i guess <laughs> so we had the you worst guy talking, like, like i mean uh, yeah that's kind of true for like every president going back i don't know man this has been fucked i don't really i don't really Bush have any like hope sense, right? in in voting you know yeah but you've also i voted i voted for trump one time but yeah but you haven't that must have been the last time you also haven't yeah and like just after this shit bro he lost this guy lost and he's like ah fuck it i'm not doing it again yeah (laughs) just give up is that what is that what we do we no like i've done my research on like like both both candidates and like you know what i'm saying like no fuck like i mean like either or bro like one you're either having like a delusional bitch or a fucking like old fuck that's gonna turn into an old fuck behavior tendency kind of guy so it's just like i don't fucking know man like it's just like we need someone like young if anything i think well you just need to pick a side (laughs) <laughs> I, th- I think this country gets the Cause this, options because at the end of the day this is a game bro this is like a game bro so you just have to be like all right i want this is a better choice of the two no 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 that's not what fucking well yeah i think we the country as a, we get the options that we deserve like honestly it's like if we want better options for our political candidates then we need to expect better of ourselves because that's what it is. That's where it all starts, right? The the candidates are our representatives. They're a reflection of us. So the fact that we have such what as we see as like incompetent, you know, horrible options, like, well, that really starts with. Do you think that's the, our fault? I think it's everyone's fault. Like not really? like your fault. Like I'm saying, the people. Are you <laughs> saying the it's the people's fault? Yeah, it's the people's fault, right? It's because we're <laughs> Dude, we, we allow you. We allow them to do that you know what i mean and to get to those places like if we want better options then we as people need to come together and put forth better fucking options you know yeah well if it'd be good if we weren't divided and conquered well you know that yeah because that's what they're doing for sure you know that's part of it but again like yeah you know that's what people always complain about this shit but, you know, I do think a lot of people do wake up to it, you know, and, and you talk yeah. to people like people are like, yeah, man, like, they, obviously, these options are not great. Um, yeah. Like, they're always just like, man, they always give us like the worst fucking options. But a also, the prison is, is not going to, the prison isn't going to be like some perfect dude or some dude that like, oh, yeah, I, I'm, I'll go with everything he says. Like, no, he's never going to be that guy. Oh, no, no, no. But, you know, we certainly, I don't, I could argue we could probably do better, but I mean, that's me. Yeah, but what I'm saying is like, yeah, they're, no, they're never gonna be like, oh yeah, like I'm a hundred percent for this guy because he like I believe everything. Like, no, these guys are also liars and shit too. So like, you know, and it's always last minute you find out some fucked up shit about him. And you're just like, yo, what the fuck? Man? Yeah, but it's like either way. I mean, I just can't. I just can't, dude. Everybody's got know? skeletons in their closet. I feel like if we all just stop paying our bills. If everyone just stops paying their bills and stops he obeying the government. <laughs> Tyler so like, over here. I get it's it. Like, <laughs> stop paying your bills. Stop, you everyone the, just stop paying you, your bills, bro. You are not just your like, bills. Stop, bro. Evicted, evicted. You're not your khaki. Just don't do that shit right now, dude. Just like worry about For other shit. Like, what if we all just didn't pay our credit cards? What would happen? Yeah. Exactly, bro. No, I mean, like, look. I think it stocks is. would go down. You know, if we People all went like to the less money, no, dude, multi-billion you, dollar companies would be going down in a must do through stocks and so transactions. Ignorance and is money. a tool. Ignorance is a weapon. And it's used by people because, like, that's the thing is, like, the falling educational standards, all this stuff isn't a fucking coincidence. It's a design by people in charge because they try to find out what works best, right? They realize with education, free education for everybody, it's like, well, we can't have too many people fucking educated. You know what I mean? So, like, right? Because yeah. you have too many people asking fucking questions, then people are going to fucking figure it out. <laughs> figure out their fucking plans and their schemes and their bullshit. So, they decline, you know, educational standards decline because people let it happen. You know what I mean? Again, people, parents, you know, all the people out there who elect people to school boards. You know, you allow these declines to happen because 
obviously if people's you know if we didn't lower the standards then people's jobs wouldn't be able to keep their jobs because they would look bad so we do we lower the standards now the teachers and everybody aren't all the kids aren't failing anymore and now they're passing. You know what I mean? It's just like you know you you've just yeah. devalued. It's the same yeah, thing. Dude, my elementary school. It's like printing more money. Like, you know what I mean? You've just devalued the currency. Like, like they you, were like top five to like top ten like ranking and like high SOL scores within like you know elementary schools. Now they're not even on that list anymore. I'm like, oh shit, that's fucked. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. Um, case in point. Um, but yeah, I guess what I'm getting at is uh. You know, there's no, it's no mystery why. It's just like people be like, how does, you know, people be like so shocked that Trump, you know, is even in the position he's in. It's just like, oh, how could this happen? Like, how, it's just like, it's obvious because I you blame the fucking declining educational system. Everyone that points fingers, it's like, oh, it's well, Republicans, they're the ones that defund all the education. And it's like, it's just like, okay, you know, and that might be true in some cases, but like, that's not always, always true in every case. And, you know, certainly if you look at like fucking, Democrat run places like you know they pour all sorts of money into horrible programs that end up being basically fucking money laundering scams uh, anyway so like and they all do this shit where it's whoever's in power cuts deals for their friends and gives them their friends the contracts and fast tracks their projects it's just how it works you know what I mean it's all business it's all transactional and so it's like then, so people that put like all the emotion and morality behind it like sort of don't realize that there's just really just kind of a game being played. That's why like certain billionaires come out for Kamala, certain billionaires come out for Trump. It's because they're all kind of putting their money on a horse and they're like, whoever wins is going to fast track my projects. And that's why Elon is just like, Trump's going to f- be favorable to space, you know, exploration and space travel. That's why I'm voting for him. And that's why he's putting all, because he's promising to give him, you know, the, that, those benefits and then same for the people on Kamala's side Kamala has a lot of Wall Street people on her side because Democrats and establishment types like her tend to not heavily regulate them or put them under a ton of scrutiny which is kind of the role that Democrats and the left typically have played towards big business and, and like you know big money like that is they they've always kind of been more of a watchdog role but since uh, you know really uh, Obama kind of it started to uh, cozy up to a lot of them too. So it's like they, they, they made friends with the democratic party. So now you have, that's what people refer to as the uniparty. Have you heard that term before? Mm-hmm. And that, that's what, that's basically it's Republicans and Democrats that are all just cozy up to wall street and, um, and big money. And they're just bas- They're all just basically controlled by that. Like big industries, like insurance, banking, you know, lobbyists, lobbyists, and, yeah. Other problem, the yeah. Lobbyists. Lawyers, lawyer lobby too. Like you know, the all lobbyists. of it. Like um, it's all, it's all transactional, man. Like they all have these their money on different horses. So yeah, um, you know, basically, <sighs> too much what, money, uh, man. Things, what I'm yeah. getting at is just like there's stuff, all the man. stuff we see on the surface with these yeah. campaigns and shit. This is all meaningless, man. Like all these promises, like all the, the stuff that they're promising for people. It's like who knows if Trump will handle inflation any better. You know, who knows what Kamala would do. But you know what I really feel like is coming down the pipe is like something, you know, something's going to break like in e- e- economic wise, like some some market's going to crash somewhere. Right. In 2008, it was the housing market. Mm-hmm. So something I don't know if it'll be the housing market again, but there's tons of other sort of, you know, markets that, you know, um, uh, retirement funds and things are built upon like uh, certain. Uh, yeah. Like ETFs and things like that that uh you know a lot of uh, a lot of uh people's wealth is tied up in so it's like you know if there's a big economic downturn like a ton of people's retirement savings is going to go out the fucking window like it did in 2008 and so like and there's no way to time this shit you know what i mean but people like you see the irresponsible monetary policy in this country is like you it's obvious like that something's going to break like they're spending beyond their means Again, like it's, it's sort of like you know we we get what we we were ex- we deserve you know it's like if we want people to be responsible and make fi- ra- responsible financial decisions with our country like then we should elect those people but you know they make it about so many other things because you know, at the end of the day right if the money you know if ever that all collapses like it doesn't fucking matter you know rights you know. Uh, like whatever the fucking you know thing that you're upset about politically it's like that it doesn't matter you know once if the country just tanks (laughs) um so anyway yeah but the corporations are too strong 
They're too big. They are, man. Like they and really are. Lobbyists they'll be are fine. so yeah, fucking strong. If the economy crashes, or whatever, they're gonna be good. The corporations. You know, when it comes they to gas bailouts. stations, is like lowered down drastically when it comes to owners now, and it's owned by like like three to four like corporations within that too. It's fucking crazy. Well, yeah, and then you have like uh, like BlackRock and these big like entities. That was that like really up. early. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Anyway, fuck the billionaires, man. <laughs> Tax them. We, we gotta just, tax them. We hit about an hour. They're probably gonna cut some stuff out because, like, all the chip, the chip saga. The chip saga. Oh shit! <laughs> my fault. I'm sorry, man. Gotta, we're gonna have to heavily edit this episode. <laughs> it'll be okay. It'll be nice. It'll be nice. Oh yeah, it'll be nice to do work. Yeah. <laughs> like, Baki over here. Oh, yeah. Should teach you how to edit the episodes. Yeah. Then you'll, then you'll be like, you'll be on top of all this I'm shit. Down. You'll be Fuck like, it. Give guys, me, stop. G- <laughs> stop give me a noise. laptop. I'm not. Hey, I'm not giving you access. To my shit. Give him a class. Give him a class. Delete my hard drive. <laughs> I would not. I would not. You'd be like, oh, everything's gone. I I'd probably I start playing like video games. Control so. delete. You play like start playing the Mad Max video game. I got. I'd, I'd, I'd start playing Nexus mods, Fallout New Vegas, Free Fire. He's mumbling. Like, what is it? Like, the, it's like last week he was like, the energy was like at up to 11, and then this week he's down to like one. <laughs> I'm, dude, I'm high. And that's why, that's why yeah, you don't get. That's why I'm not giving you one next time. You know? <laughs> what? Give him what? I'm withholding. I wasn't expecting that, bro. I've been smoking a little bit. I did not. I like, I like the plaster, Brandon. You like. I like Plaster Braden. He's yeah, he's too unfocused so for the podcast. But he's he's like, okay, he's, he's okay, cool, right? He's pretty chill. He's for right I mean, now, he's, yeah, he's good. Yeah. Either way, but like, but yeah, he just, just like, get the munchies. He just get the munchies. He's the munchies monster. I know, yeah, no, no. When I'm like more like you know sober without like weeding me, I'm like way we, better. We need consistent performances from this guy over here. Like, he can't be. He can't be up like here one. It was and gonna down be one week. of those just like chill on the podcast talk kind of boy kind of segments because we didn't even have a fucking topic to begin with. Yeah, it was fast food. We winging it. Fast food, fast food. Actually, I think I picked something. Up. No, I didn't pick it. Actually, I was gonna go that way, but then we all started talking about something. Anyway, 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 anyway. Yeah. Have you seen that Unforgivable? Anyway, is that a movie? No, it's it's a old YouTube video. It's like this black guy in the woods, and he's talking about getting going to Silver Ball with my man Bovice <laughs> or whatever. He was, I mean, he went to. I went up to this girl and I was like, "What that smell like?" And then he went to. We went to the mall, <laughs> and he was a Chick Fil A thing. I mean, I go up there, and get me a chicken sandwich and some waffle fries for free. <laughs> you ever seen that? No, You've no, I've never, never seen. But like the way you just explained it was pretty funny. Well, it's so quotable. Is why it's like it was a thing. Bovice, Bovice. You didn't Van and Bovice. Yeah, it's from two buddies. <laughs> Go back to sleep if you know what's good for Dog, you. Dog, do you have any snacks, dude? Just motherfucker over here. All right, this, <laughs> we're done. <laughs> this is over. We're, we're ending gonna, this. I'm All right, if you enjoyed the episode, go for us five stars on iTunes. Uh, you guys have a blessed one. See you <laughs> later. He's just like, bye. Go follow us on the social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. The old Tic Tac. And then uh and then go uh comment and troll Braden and call him a sleepy boy. Call him a sleepy soy boy. <laughs> sleepy call me a sleepy soy boy and a slut. <laughs> You're an ignorant slut, oh. Braden. Jeez. Alright, <laughs> right, fellas. We're out of here. <laughs>